Howdy folks, I have a fun one today. So a couple weeks ago, I guess maybe a month ago now, I was uh, I bought a whole bunch of motorcycle stuff and in that was this awesome 1968 BSA B44, it's a Victor Special 441 and it was in pieces, it was not put together. I bought a bunch of stuff and it's an estate situation. So some of the pieces got lost in the whole mix, but there's a lot here and this is an awesome project. It is early enough in the season where you could get this thing done by springtime and have a running rideable bike by spring, not that crazy. Like I said, it is missing a few things and I'll go over that. I am listing this bike on Moto Nexus and we are starting the bid at $1. It will have a reserve on it, but the reserve is extremely low as in less than like what the gas tank's worth. So this is gonna be your chance to get an extremely good deal on a BSA. So like I said, she's a 1968 BSA 441 and this is actually a Victor Special. So like I said, when I got it, it was in pieces and that is because the original owner had taken it apart and according to the person that I got it from, he had the engine rebuilt by a shop in San Francisco. And I'm blanking on the name. It was an Italian shop, but I'm blanking on it. Anyways, that's what I was told. The bike is missing a few things. We're missing the front brake, the outer lens. There is some wiring in this headlight bucket, but that's kind of the only wiring with the bike other than this, these wires right here. That's pretty much it as far as wiring goes. Like I said, the engine turns over, has great compression, and we'll do a compression test and I'll show you guys that. And here's the other side. So yeah, like I said, I am going to be listing this on Moto Nexus. I will provide a link in the description so you can go on and bid. We're starting the bid at $1. So don't be shy. All right, so hooked up the compression tester and uh, let's do a quick compression test. Got a lot of compression. Oh yeah, we're above, just hit 150. So she's, she's healthy. All right, she's topped out. So check it out. Just under 175. And oh yeah, she's got the compression. I'm winded. The bike is in pretty good shape. The forks seem pretty good there. Everything's pretty nice shape. Gas tank has a couple small dings in it. Uh, maybe it's on this side. We're right here, there's a small ding there. It's hard to see. Um, but overall, it's in really good shape. And these are aluminum, so they don't rust on the inside. So that's super nice. It has the nice factory seat. Rear fender, it has the full exhaust. The front axle is correct. Did not have a rear axle, so I just put a pusher rod in there with a couple of vice grips. So you get a couple of vice grips to go along with your project. Oh, it also has a carburetor. It is missing the air box. Like I said, odds and ends. This is a full on project. The engine appears to be, you know, something that is not gonna take a lot of work to get running. Obviously, I make no guarantees. I've never seen the inside of the motor, but it does seem to be something that's gonna be workable. Perfect winter project for somebody. So I will provide a link in the description to the auction where you can bid on this motorcycle, starting bid, one dollar extremely low reserve somebody is going to own this thing for cheap it's going to be great as far as shipping or picking up i am located just outside of santa cruz 
California in a town called Boulder Creek, I am able to meet with shippers. That's not a problem. And if you're within a few hours away, we can talk about delivery for a fee. I am definitely open to that as well. So BSA, cheap, cheap, cheap. You're not going to find a, a BSA this cheap in the country. I've looked. There's not a ton of these bikes for sale. They go for good money. We're rolling the dice on it. I have a shop full of projects. I have storage full of projects and I just, I'm not gonna have time to take on another project. So I'd rather pass it along to somebody who's gonna love it and appreciate it. I just didn't have the heart to park this one out. It's, it's just two together, man. It's, uh, this bike has a ton of potential. So head over to Moto Nexus, bid on it and do something cool with it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you happen to be new, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I'm finding vintage bikes all the time. And when I get a good deal, I am happy to pass it along to somebody else and give them a great deal as well. See you guys on the next one.